good evening everyone welcome back to tanya to guide so i have given some of the questions yesterday and most of the people have done and i even they mentioned their answers in the live chat so now i'm just repeating it once again if you are able to answer for the question use the option live chat and let me know your answers there okay so once again good evening everyone good evening so let's start our session today also i am giving few of the questions but before that i wanted to ask some questions like how you will perform to know whether a number is even or odd okay so most of the students start coding that giving some number modulus division equal equals to 0 and all that okay so that is a general method now i'll show that method and i'll show you how to make even in other the method also so let's start for so suppose i am declaring a variable num which is equals to some value 10 now in that if num modulus 2 if num modulus 2 equal equals to 0 so now equal equals to 0 is an operator which is called comparison operator okay so now double equals to 0 and if you don't put the colon you'll get an error now print by default we how many spaces it will take how many spaces it will take how many spaces it will take four spaces so print mention double quotes even number so always don't forget to write the code in a meaningful way it should not be some blind code okay so always write the code okay so most of the people will forget to write else statement but here i am using it in a different case that i am writing the program with elif and also else now elif num modulus 2 num modulus 2 equal equals to 1 so why i have mentioned equal equals to 1 because whenever we are using modulus division if the remainder is 0 it is even if the remainder is 1 obviously we can say that is an odd number right so print odd number okay apart from this i'm writing it in one more that is else statement so this else statement will tell you that print enter the correct value okay print in that you mention enter enter the correct value okay so now let's run it so it is asking enter the number okay even number it is directly showing because already i gave the number here if i am just replacing it that with input enter the value okay now if you don't forget to give the int okay so always give the int so if you forget to give the int you will get an error because by defaultly it will assume that what it will assume it will assume that it is a string okay so don't make these mistakes so now see here how it is working it is asking enter the value i am just writing some 21 what do we get any guesses there so most of the people blindly say that 21 is not an even number but according to the logic what should we get 21 is not a even number we know that but how it is because of a condition equal equals to 1 okay when the remainder is equals to 1 then it goes to obviously odd number okay now see odd number we got okay now i'll run this code once again i'm just deleting this here and i'll run the code again for suppose if i enter minus 1 what do we get here odd number okay because it is an odd number according to the reverse okay So now I'll run the code once again and I'll enter the value zero. Now what is the output now? We got what do we get now? So it is showing the line error. Okay. So now let's try with one more number. This is the last number. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just giving a value. Okay. so now i'm giving some 21 here already we gave 21 right yeah let's see once again enter the value now 
Let's give 21 or no, 23 I'll give, which is an odd number. Okay. So now if you give decimal values, what will happen? Let's see. 20 point some seven. Okay, invalid return for int with base 10, 20.7, okay? So it is showing some invalid return because we enter integer here, okay? If that is float, that is a different case. So I hope everyone understood this code, fine. So now let's see here how we are going to work. Now I just wanted to make some of the changes. Now this is a code, okay? Now this is a code to find to check whether a number is even or odd, okay? Now I want to show you one more statement. Now if you write print here and say goodbye, this is for general purpose I'm writing this. Can anyone guess the output for this? So most of the people are saying the answers, but it is wrong, okay? What is the output? It depends on a number, okay? For suppose if we give, if we give, 21, what is the output? Only odd number you are saying, no. Odd number and we'll get the goodbye, okay? So this print statement, it does not have any relation with the above statements, okay? Whether the statements are correct or wrong or whatever, this print statement will work, okay? So now I'll tell you the other syntax also. Now, if number is there, no, inside that there is a condition, okay? Now there is a statement inside that if condition. Now L if inside that there is a statement. Now else there is a statement. But even though if you give some numbers which is in negative also, you'll get this print statement. Okay, goodbye. Now see, I'll run it once again. Now see, I'm using some zero. I'm just writing some minus one. Okay, you will getting that is an odd number and goodbye. I'm just deleting this. I'm running it once again, and I'm writing some zero. Now zero is an odd number or even number? Now see, uh, what do you get? It is an even number because the even number starts from zero, two, four, six, and eight, right? Even the number of divisibility, test of divisibility also says that when the number ends with zero, four, six, and eight, it is divisible by two, okay? Yeah, so now this is how it's working the code. This is a different code, but I wanted to show you some different program. This is a program which you know already. Now my question is, okay, what is the question? So I want, for suppose if a person is asking you to write a code using a list, okay? Using a list, you have to find out whether the numbers are even or odd, okay? So I'll just create a list one. Always you should not, create list, okay? You should not write the variable name with list, okay? It is not a meaningful variable. Write some other numericals or something, okay? But it should not be list, okay? That's not a professional way to declare a list. Now, I'm just writing in this list some 10, 40, 31, 21, 4, 65, 98, 93. These are my list of elements. So, okay, now I'm just creating a list. Now my code is, I wanted to find out the number of events in this list, okay? So this is a program to print even numbers in a list. You know how to print a program using if statement, if else statement, if else and elif statement. I know that, okay? Now I'm making you to learn somewhat extra, that is list one equals to some items or values. Now in that, I'm mentioning that these are all the iterations, okay? The number of steps we are repeating. Now, these are the iterations and for num is another variable num in list one. That means this num will get the items from list one, okay? First, it will take 10, next it will take 40, next it will take 31, and the next it will take 21, and goes on 4, 65, 98, and 93. Okay, this num is a variable which take the elements from where? From where it will take? It will take the elements from the list one, okay? Now, what will happen if we don't mention column? You'll get an error. And also by default, it will take four spaces, okay? Now, I'll write the condition. See, I'm just mentioning the condition also, ash condition, okay? 
now i'm writing if number modulus 2 equal equals to 0 okay now equal equals to 0 now print of num i'll tell you three ways see here now if you write print of num then directly you will get the item see here what you are getting 10 is an even number 40 is an even number 4 is also an even number and 98 is also an even number fine now if you write instead of this like number comma n equal to this means that after the number ending you should get the numbers beside that okay now if you write like this if you separate that either with the double quotes or single quotes anything is okay so i'm just running it running it once again see here see these are also even numbers but all those are mixed up okay so by default what is happening actually can anyone tell see for loop it is taking numbers from the list and it is checking the condition if it is equals to zero it will print the number after that by default it has to go to the next line slash n by default it checks only one iteration at once okay the number whatever you are giving it will check but if you give some space near the end parameter you will get the output same still you will get the same thing okay so for that, what you need to do is you need to give some space here. Then it shows the output still the same. Now, what is the thing you have to do is give the space between the literals. So you will get after the number, it will end up with comma and you will get the numbers repeatedly like that. See, 10, 4, 40 and 98 is the output. Now, I hope everyone is understood, right? So I'm just removing this. See. If you mention that directly with num, what is the output we'll get? I'm just running it once again for your understanding. See here, automatically it checks, it checks the condition. 10 is divided, okay, divided by 2 and it will check remainder is 0. Now it will come to the print statement and 10 is your output. Now again, 40 it will check. 40 modulus 2 equal equals to 0, then it is also true, then it will get the output now 31 it is not divisible so we don't give any condition so it will stay there that okay it won't check only the condition whichever is satisfying it is printed in the num statement okay now each and every time we are checking like that now what is happening here actually is by defaultly the python interpreter whenever you are using this statement okay it goes to the next line okay it goes to the next line so instead of that i wanted to print my items Okay, I wanted to print my items, one each on another. So for that, I wanted to write end statement, end equals to, and also mention that with double quotes and give space. So that you'll be getting the items one after the another in a sequence. Now see, we got the items 10, 44, and 98, okay? So this is a program to find whether an element, okay, the list of, elements or even or odd everybody can code when we give some numbers to find even or odd using operators but using list is a very different thing okay yeah so now let's move forward to the new question okay yeah yeah so now let's come back to one more question so here i'll give you a string question okay so this string question it is like I'll give you some question. Okay, try to solve this question. If you are good at this, you are able to answer for this. Let's see whether you are capable of doing or not. Okay, so for that, I'm creating my, my string equals to some Tanya. Okay, so now see here, what is the question actually? I just wanted to check whether string okay does string support literals like in words or not usually we know that we can do with numbers and all that okay tanya guide i'm just writing in this now see if i mention using for loop for i in range okay for i in range if i declare this variable like my string okay if i declare my string and separate that with column now see what is happening 
print of i. What do we get here? Most of the people were guessing the answer, I think. Yeah, what is the answer for this question? Can anyone tell me the answer? Shall I repeat the question? So now my underscore string is a variable in which I am storing Tanya guide, okay? So for i in range of my string, this means that what are the items which are there in Tanya to guide or Tanya guide are going, are they going to print? Yes, no, let me know in the live chat, okay? So are they going to, I won't show the output right now because after showing the output, you will be guessing the answers. Yeah, I missed the answer and all that. I just don't want to show the answer. Now you start guessing what is the output for that. Whether we'll get all the elements in that or else uh, we'll be getting an error or else none. What do we get here? Now check it. Now let me know in the comment section. What is the output for that? Yeah, keep trying, keep trying, you'll get it. Yeah, still try it, try it. You'll get the answer. Yeah, okay, finally, most of the people, yeah, I'll show the answer for this. Now see, you're getting an error for i in range, string object cannot be interpreted as an integer. Okay, so this is a string and you cannot be interpreted like that. So usually what we'll do, we'll declare some variable and what do we do? Okay, we'll execute that and the, whatever the variable which we are declaring, you'll get the output, okay? But this is not like that, okay? Here we declared what? We declared a string, yes or no? It is a string. So now what is happening? String literal does not support, okay? But usually what will happen when we mention some names and all that without in for loop? Okay, I'll show that also. Okay, here you declared a third variable and also you mentioned that as a string, okay. So that is a string, it is working, you are getting an error. If not like this, see, I'll show you how you are writing. For suppose, for, for letter, okay, for letter in Python. Okay, for letter in Python, if you write like this, print, Print what? Letter. Okay, what is the output you'll get here? If you run it, you'll be getting Python. So here it, it automatically goes to the new line and all that. Okay. But this is not like that. The, in which far only we directly declared that item. But here it is not like that. But suppose if you wanted to mention like that, I'll show you once again. For suppose uh, my underscore string equals to Python. Okay. So now this is a string. So if you write for letter, right? For letter in, for letter in what we have to write. Okay. What is the thing which you wanted to write in that? Directly, if you write letter in that particular range, you will get it. But I wanted to write some range in this. Okay. So for letter in range. Okay. For letter in range, my string. Now see here. Print or oh, file. What do we get here now? We'll get the same error. String cannot be interpreted as an insert. So I hope everyone understood. In order to make you understand, I'm just repeating the question once again. So if you write within the forever statements and all that, this will work. But this does not support for strings, okay? As it is a string, it will get definitely an error, okay? 
Otherwise, as I have shown in the previous, you will get definitely the code. Okay. This will not work. Type error string object cannot be interpreted as an integer. Okay. Previously, within the for loop, if you give some number, okay, it will work. That is a different case. It will be executing repeatedly and it will be checking the letters. Okay. Even if you give a list also, this will work. For, in, for suppose instead of this, list also, list means not in the same way creating a list. Okay. How I created for an even number, that way it will work. But this will not work for string so as it does not suppose an integer. Okay. So I hope everyone understood this video. Have some regular practice on these questions. Share with your friends, relatives and all. Start working on the questions, whatever we discussed here. Thank you all. Thank you for your support. So I hope you learned something new today. Uh, keep doing. Thank you.